liquid waste uh, major concept how we can integrate uh, liquid waste with mule soft and then we will have a demo and then we can do a wrap up so like liquid waste is a like uh, database chain management so so what is liquid waste so it is a like uh, open source solution so with with the help of liquid waste you can manage the revisions of database schema script like you have multiple database script and you are writing that one so you can manage that revisions like uh, using the help of liquid waste and it will work across various types of database and also like it supports various file format for defining the db structure so so why we need liquid waste so like uh, we used to maintain like maybe in the mule soft if we have a database schema so what we usually do like we will write the db script in the text based and we will maintain somewhere in the notepad or somewhere and we will write like this is the first script we have to execute then this one then this one so we can maintain this db script in some text file or somewhere and we are adding them manually to the db like first we will run in dev uh, then uh, uat then production environment so in this process like there will be more issues like you can easily lost the sync between the code and db state like sometime like multiple people are working on the same project so it will be like uh, you will not remember that which database schema we have to execute in which environment so we can easily lose or uh, lose the sync between the code and db state and it will be like very hard to find out the state of particular db environment like in and you have to maintain like in dev environment which script we have run and the uat environment which script we have run so we have to maintain that state of particular db environment or how you have to re recreate the db from the scratch during the development it, like sometimes you are not able to find out like uh, what are the stage uh, we have executed all the scripts so sometimes you have to destroy all the db and then you have, you have to recreate the db from the scratch and in this case maybe there will be some error and uh, it will be very hard to recover uh, like uh, during that development and in some of the cases you will see that you have applied wrong statement to the db and it break everything so for these issues like liquid waste is a good solution so let me show you like so here you can see the liquid waste and we have very good liquid waste community so here you can see like welcome to the liquid waste community and it is very fast database change and here you can see like why liquid waste has been downloaded over 100 million times so why so here you can see like they have some features like it has flexible database change so you can write database script in not in only sql format you can write those script in the xml format also json format also or yml format also so it is not necessary like you have to write in sql format it can support xml json and yml format also we will see in during the demo like how we can execute this one and you can easily version control of your database so you can maintain the order changes like these are the order 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can maintain the order and you can do the uh, deployment of those changes in the, the db and it is built for the developer like control when that you can easily control when where and how database changes are deployed so you can easily uh, do uh, control this and also like liquid waste works with 50 plus databases so here you can see like RDS, Oracle, Postgres, Snowflake, MongoDB, MySQL, all the majors database as are available here. Here also you can see like IBM DB2, Firebird, SAP, HANA, Sybase, S2, MaxDB, Neo4j. So these are the like uh, supported. And also like here also you can see like some of the community contributors for for like so. Here you can see like liquid base is way by very 
best tool for the database versioning. I cannot imagine not having it in my project workflow. But most of the mules for mules or project, you will not see the liquid base or another uh, database versioning tool. Like we have Flyway also. Okay. So like why like liquid base makes your life easier. So we are like doing the database schema changes. Either we can, majorly we will do the manual. So in that case, like you are al always in dilemma, like this script we have applied in that environment or not. Okay. So this dilemma will be always there. So in case of the manual change management, but using the liquid base, uh, like uh, to manage changes, uh, just you can control the version and you can uh, there will be like version control, database schema changes during the deployment. The liquid base run, the liquid base script, like a schema script, will run. And also, like here, you have to like manually order the script. Like first, we have created the table. We have to insert some of the data into that table. Maybe later, after some time, we have to drop that column. So you have to like. Uh, like manually order the script in which order we have to run the, the script but here you don't have to like uh, order that one it will automatically order the script for the deployment okay so we will maintain this ordering in the some file and in that order uh, the script will run and also like here it there will be chances like developer overwrite each other changes uh, so Many developers are working on the same project. So you will see like uh, uh, one of the developer has removed that table. So it will break the flow. But here also can, you can see like there will be branching and merging for team. So once that is merged, then uh, that changes will be uh, available for uh, developer. And here you can see like harder to implement continuous deployment. Like you have to maintain that order script and also you have to prepare multiple uh, script for the multiple environment like we have dev uat and uh, production environment so you have to maintain like for dev environment we have to run this script uat we have to run this script production you have to run this script but in case of liquid base you can just that will be embedded into your like product or build tools like jenkins uh, they will take care like and also, like you have to spend our like hours spent reworking a script if anything is broken. Like so, you have to spend like hours of spent like something is broken. You have to figure it out. Like which script we have not run in this environment. But with using Liquivs, you can easily roll back the changes, and then uh, it will be good to go ahead. So this is the like Liquivs.org. From here, you can start. Here also, you can see like learn. So it has just go with get started. So here you can see like you have to install the liquid base on your Windows. It is not necessary like you have to install, uh, like um, you have to add the dependency into the project. You can install the liquid base in that system and you can run this liquid base independently like uh, of your project also and here you can see like uh, you can work with sql xml json and yml format also so let's see the xml uh, sql one so here you can see getting started with liquid and sql so here we can see like with liquid base so here you can see like sql statement so here you can see like you have a sql script okay are declared as liquid base change set. So SQL script, we will put all the SQL script we will put in one file. Okay. Okay. So that will be like change set. And then all the change set, like we have multiple script in one file. Then we have we have to define this change set in one. There will be one change log file. So uh, that have all the entries, like in which order uh, we have to execute that uh, a script. And here you can see like uh, this is uh, liquid base, okay? And then it will use this file, change log file 
and then it will run into the multiple environment like when we will deploy the uh, application in dev environment it will run that uh, uh, script in that dev environment if you deploy in uit environment that time during the deployment it will run that uh, all the scripts okay and here also you can see like there are three different database dev uit and dot so just like what you have to do like uh, you need some database uh, configuration like credentials url and this thing and here you can see like in the example change log something is there and then we can run okay i will come again yeah, let me go to the slides so like what are the similar other tools like flyway is another tool which again i am going to cover in next which session which is scheduled on 25th april i'm coming live on that one also flyway and these are the thing like my betis and this are the thing outdated tools so majorly you can see like uh, uh, you can see like database versioning the name will come liquivice or flyway or sometime you can see my betis also like how liquivice is different from others it is very easy to set up it is extensible different database support uh, database different difference report it we can generate and it can support many database types rollback feature is there database independent migration support so you can migrate from one db to another db also and it is java based and easy to manage with java project so as you know like uh, we have a spring module uh, support in the mule sort application so you can easily uh, integrate liquivis using the spring dependency it has support for different change log format like xml yml json and sql so like the major features of liquivis so you uh, i have shown you like uh, we have broad range of database such as Oracle, SQL Server, MariaDB, and Postgres SQL. And then we have DB2, Apache Derby, S2. And for the complete list, you can see that uh, we have seen that one. And also like a flexible and extensible framework that allows for the seamless addition of newly released platform and integration. So if there is any uh, new database addition, so you don't have to do uh, much integration uh, in your side. It will work and it has full control of when when we have to deploy these database changes where we have to deploy like dev uat and prod and how we have to deploy so this will take care by liquivase framework so like liquivase supports ability to merge changes from multiple developers so multiple developer can work on db changes there will be no issues when the changes are merged then it will be like that changes will be applied into the dev environment and once we promote those changes in other environment so then during the promotion promoting uh, that script will be executed we have like code branches multiple databases cluster safe database upgrades generation of a starting change logs from existing database so you if you have existing database you can also like uh, generate that uh, initial change log also so that from there you can start using that uh, further uh, database scripts then we have a generation of database chain documentation and automated updates or generation of SQL. so how liquibase works so there are two mechanisms so or concept that are the foundation of liquibase so there are two concepts one is a schema changes like where we are we have to write that uh, schema changes like we have to write the script that will consist of change log change set and change type which we will going to cover in the next slides and there will be like tracking table so tracking table that will record all the database changes so there are two tables will be created so 
I will come to that one. So there are two tables. One is database change log, and there is another table called database change log lock. That these are the two tables which will track all the change log, like all the scripts. Which one is executed in which mode? Then we have a schema changes. So this is the first concept. Like schema changes, you can write like you can write create, modify, or drop database object. Okay, or you can write create table, add index, drop column. These are the script which you can write in the uh, liquivis. And also, like it is not necessary, you have to write in the SQL format. You can write in the X XML format also, YML format also, or JSON format also. Okay, so there will be best practices like you have to group all the script into one chain set. And uh, all the change set will be belong to one change log file, and and the best practice is like each change set in one file you have to add one script. You can add multiple also uh, script in one file. That is there will be no issue. But one or more change sets are contained in the change log. Okay. Then uh, when we execute that command like uh, liquid base command, then uh, there will be two tables will be created one is database change log and another table will be like log log so these are the two tables which will be created so if you come like database change log like uh, it will be created used by liquibase to track which change sets have already been done like which script we have run in that environment and also like it does this by tracking its set as a row identified by a combination of so in each script we have to add in, uh, like provide like id author and file name so these three things will make unique thing uh, uniqueness so if you come here so these are the column like id author file name so from here you will come to like who has done this script and from where it is got executed here also you can see like uh, when it is executed, order is executed, like ordering, like in which order the scripts are getting executed. Execution type, like executed, failed, skipped, rerun, and mark run. Then we have something like MD5 sum that is related to the like uh, file. And if there is change, then that this value will be changed. Then we can add description also, comment also. Then we can have tag also. And this is the liquid based version. Then we have a context like context will be used like uh, in which environment we have to run. Like there will be some script uh, that will depend on the environment. So this will come into the picture. So you can have try that context is equal to dev. Then that script will run in only in the dev environment. Then we have label and they are using some deployment ID. So you will come to like in this deployment id these all the script uh, are executed similarly we have one more table like log log when the uh, we are running the liquid base that time it will uh, we have something called locked so uh, it will be updated as one so the, uh, so that no other person or any other dba or another developer can run same time uh, database changes so to avoid this, to prevent that other developers, DBA or automated process to execute same time. So that time when the liquid base is running, that time uh, this value will be updated to one. Once successfully run, then it will be reverted to zero. And here you can see like locked by. So you will come to like uh, uh, who is running that script, the These are the like major concept like change log file so here you can see like this is the database change log and here you can see and here you can see like change set id and id is equal to one then two then here you can see like username also will be there so this is the format first we have to maintain like database change log and here there will be multiple change set and it is recommended like for each change set maybe you can create a separate file and you can just import that one so here is 
you can see like database change log and we are including the file so like this is the like change log api and we are doing the, some versioning like 2.1.0 so first it will be executed then this one then this one then we have changed it where we have to write the script and uh, it will be uniquely identified by the author and id okay so here you can see like this is a change site id and here you can see the some version then author is india you can define the dbms also like mysql if you are using multiple uh, database in the one application so you can specify the dbms like mysql or which sql you have to use and here you can see like context we are using prod and test so this change set will be applied only in this environment like prod and test environment then we have change so and this is basically a script so there are multiple changes like you can do like add column rename column so these are the things which you can update uh, a structural refactoring like create table drop table create view anything which you can imagine like a database schema you can achieve uh, using the liquids then we have data quality refactoring like you can create a lookup table and this thing and sequence creation drop sequence unique constraint drop unique constraint anything you can imagine like which you have to do manually you can achieve that one using uh, liquids then we have this thing foreign key insert data load data this thing also you can achieve indexes then we have a precondition also like uh, we can some add uh, precondition we can add like dbms type this value then we have to run when we have uh, we can check the username change it there will be something like we have to drop some column or something uh, we have to drop table so you can first check that if that table is exist then we have to drop that call uh, table so that also you can do like when we are dropping some column if the table has that column then we have to remove that one so that thing also uh, come into the uh, preconditions so here you can see uh, like table exists and then we are do, uh, dropping that table like true uh, this table name okay and i have mentioned that like context this will be a uh, useful for like uh, when we have to run a specific in uh, uh, script into a specific environment so that time you can specify and how we can run hope i am not going fast if there is any question no no question so far anybody any questions feel free to put them in the chat okay so how we can run so you can do like command line using and or using maven and also like it you can do the automated process also like servlet listener spring listener and j cdi listener also and you can use, uh, run this liquid base can be easily embedded and executed through its java api also so in the command line or something first you have to provide some of the database configuration like here you can see like a driver then we have to specify the class path then we have to specify the change log file credential we have to provide username and password then url and then you you can run that uh, liquidvis command so these are the common commands uh, which we use generally use update and applies to all undone changes okay and these are the command which even i have not used rollback snapshot dbdoc difference and different chain log generate chain log history mainly like uh, all the things that will be covered by update sometime you, if you have to do the or all that then you have, you can use this one also okay let's come to the demo then it will be more clear do we have any questions and i will go with my article so i will just import the existing project and we will run that one 
so here you can see like uh, there are two way uh, we can uh, integrate uh, liquid base in the mule sort application the first thing is like using java and in that process you have to uh, use mbwin uh, like command that will be liquid base command uh, that you can integrate before that this command you have to run before the deployment then all the uh, like db update will happen okay so before the deployment we have to run this command so that uh, all the schema will be executed and then you can see there is another uh, way like using the spring dependency so in that process uh, it will be run during the application startup when the application startup that time uh, all the script will be executed okay so i i will go with the first one first okay i will so here you can see like uh, we have to create a project and then we have to maintain create a db change log dot xml file so here you can see like uh, this is one uh, empty database change log there is no script which we have added and here also you can see like uh, there is a liquid base dot properties so here you can see like we have to provide some uh, locations this is the uh, location of this file where it is uh, like we have to pick it up and here you can see like this is the url uh, i'm using a uh, postgres and the username i have kept i have username only and that is for my local machine and password i have kept password only and context you can see like i have kept a step then uh, we have to add some script so here you can see like uh, we can create a one file like here you can see like i have started with 01 so that i can remember like this is the first script then the next file uh, i will create with 02 so in this way you can see so here you, you can see like uh, i have created a table called accounts okay and then we have added this sql okay this is change change set and this change set we have to add this into the database change log so here we have to maintain the ordering so here you can see like uh, the first file it will be picked it up like 01 create account table.sql when we run this command okay then this will pick uh, this file and execute the script okay and here also like relative change to log file that is fine and in the pong.xml file we have not added any dependency related to the liquid base so you have to add this plugin and so this here you can see like liquid base maven plugin is there and then we have to add postgres sql dependency also here you can see like 4.1.0 then you can run this command and mm, you will be able to see that one so let me import this project from at the end you will see like uh, this is the github repo just go there and import it so quickly i will import that project into here and then i will show you demo see the project okay first thing i will show you that uh, so this is the db change log dot xml file so let me comment the second script so i have added only one script that is create account table dot sql okay let me save this file and if you go to that here so in this one here we have added like this is the author name and this is the id when uh, we run that command mbn request base update okay 
so it will pick it up this one create account table dot sql and it will run so i will go to the terminal The command is we have to run. You can follow this documentation, all the things, all the steps which I have already written. So before that one, before running this, I will show you like which database we are using. So here you can see in liquid properties, you can see like I am using the Postgres. So let me show you. Uh, you there is no table any table created. So if you refresh this one, here you can see there is nothing. It is empty. OK. Let me run that MBL. In this, uh, uh, using this one, like uh, this is using Java dependency. So you have to run this command before the a deployment of application as setup and all the script will be executed. So here you can see uh, uh, parsing liquid based properties file. So it is reading like liquid based properties. So they got the credential. So here you can see like they have database, they are using Postgres. First, they are acquiring the change log lock. Okay. So first time when we run this one, first they will create these two table, database change log, and one more table will be created, database change log lock. First they will lock uh, so that no, no other person can execute that uh, database scripts in this database. So here you can see first they are reading from this table, like database change log lock. Then they will get all the information which all the script are executed in this uh, environment. So then they got this change set is not executed. So they they will execute this one like 01 create account table dot SQL. And here you can see like ran successfully in 31 milliseconds. So let me go to the data view, uh, database. So here you can see like account table is created with same column name like user ID, username, password, email created on last login. Okay. And if you go, we have different table also created that is database change. So here you can see like this, we can see the data. So here you can see like ID, which we have mentioned one and author is Yang and the file name is this one. And just now we have done like here you can see the timing also like and order executed is executed and then you can see the liquid base version also and deployment id also what we will do uh, we will add the second script so here you can see like uh, we are inserting one records like in the account table we are adding some one into if you check uh, in the liquid base here if you see the view data so there is no data so what i am going to do in the db change log i will add this script now okay let me add two script this time so there are two script one is like inserting record into the customer.sql okay so here you can see like insert into this table and then we are executing this table also like we are creating a card table and they have different username like prasad and that ordering is one okay let's come to the command let's run it again so here you can see what happens I have added here. Yeah. Let me refresh this one. Oh, maybe. 
maybe I have not saved that file. So here you can see like dv change log.xml file that is not saved. That's why it is not executing any script here. You can see like they acquired the change log, they check that, but they have not found any like changes. So they have not executed any script. So let me save this one. Now it is it got saved this time. Let's run it again. The good thing like we have not saved and we have seen that scenario also. Here also you can see like custom they first they are trying to read uh, this table. They will come to like which all files are executed in that database. So they got two files. So here you can see like 02 insert records and 03 create card table. If you go in the, the database schema, let's refresh it. Here you can see like accounts, one more card table is created. If you see the data here, we have to refresh it. So here you can see like one entry is created and you can see the timing also. It just uh, inserted now. If you see this table also, you have to refresh it. So here you can see like in the second query, we have not added ID. So if you are, you, if you are not adding any ID, so it will take as raw and author, they will add as include all something. And the third query, we have added Prasad. So here you can see like the file name, like create card table and the same deployment ID, you can see like 7070. So let's see in the next, we have to uh, remove sub column, okay. So, in the create account table, we have something like last login. So we have to remove after some development, we came to know like we have to remove this column last login. So you can here see uh, like um, we have to drop that column. So he, the another developer called Raj, they have written this script and, and they have added this into the change log and then again come back to this and then you can do ambient liquid waste update so here you can see like we have this this got successfully executed and if you see the database okay i have not refreshed so it you can see the last login also. If I do the refresh, that column got removed. And if you see that this entry, so here you can see like uh, Raja executed this file. So here you can see that all the ordering like one, two, three, four. And when we are doing the deployment in dev, UAT and prod, you don't have to worry about that, which script is executed in which environment. Okay. And also like, Then uh, we can write uh, mm, this one also. Like we have a called few. Okay. So here one more thing is there run on change is equal to true. So here you can see, like in case of view stored procedure, we can write as create or replace. So it we can run this the same uh, view or a stored procedure multiple times. Okay, so that's why we have added one more tag that is run on change is equal to true. Okay, so when we are running this one, okay, run on change is equal to true. Let's add this script. Okay, we have removed all this.
so here you can see like uh, one cars view is created so if you go to that view and refresh it and you can check this and here you can see like uh, red is created and if you see the database change log so here you can see like this one is created and here uh, here you can see like executed type is executed let's change this one like uh, we have to change this view so just you can go and change this one so here you can see like uh, it we have run on change equal to two if you do some changes in this one so it will create or replace so it will replace that one uh, the existing view and when you run this one again the same command So it is executed again and you go there the database. So here you can see like the order got changed earlier it was five and it is executed again. So it became six and it is coming as three rank. And if you see that view, so here you can see like blue is coming. So in this way, like uh, you can maintain all the ordering of a script and uh, using the uh, liquid base. So here you can see like we have written in SQL format. So you can write in uh, JSON format also. It is not necessary like you, you can write in that format. So here you can see like uh, I am showing one example. Like this is like database change log. This is one change set. So here you can see like there will be some syntax like create table and you have to provide version table is created. Then this is column. Okay. Then these are the column name and these are the things. And then another change set is three. So what I will do, let, let me copy this one, this file. Let me put it here. I cannot copy that. We have to create. So I will show you like uh, if you are uh, mentioning this one like JSON file. So if uh, this is the JSON file. So here you can see like uh, you can create a this is the change log file, right? So maybe. Yeah, I will copy that. Copy that file. So this is another change. So here you can see like db change log dot is in XML format. So I will paste it here. Uh, so this is the like in JSON format. So here you can what you can modify. So in the liquid properties, just go and change this one and give this file name that is example dot so this will pick from that json file let me save it okay and there are three change set like person table it will create or something so i have here you can see like we have to specify that from where it will pick all the file like change log file so it is it, now it will pick from the json file let's run this one again i think Okay, I think it is not picked it up. 
let me go to the db and let me verify yeah it is maybe i have done some mistake okay maybe uh, we will try it not later okay let's come to the another part uh, so no, this is fine sir sure. that's not a problem yeah so Sometimes let's come to it happens during the demo no worries yeah about. yeah so all the uh, like flow like you just you have to follow this uh, medium uh, article and you can integrate the another one like ah uh, liquid based integration in mule sort application using the spring dependency so you don't have to run this command okay mvn liquid based update this thing okay instead of that one uh, the all the script will be executed uh, during the application startup so here you can see like you have to add some uh, credential here like this is the db credential application properties here you can see like same change set we have to create same database change log we have to create the only the things are extra thing uh, we have to go with spring dependency so you have to add a spring configuration so here you can see like i have created a empty beans okay and then we have added some dependency so after that once you add a spring module after that you have to add this three dependency more like a spring jdbc and then we have liquid base code and then for postgres sql we are using so we have to add postgres sql also here also you can see like once you add this dependency you have to add this into the same thing into the shared library also then after that we have to add this pin property into the spring configuration so here you can see like we are creating a data source so data source we are using like uh, all the values from the uh, for the db credentials so here you can see like url username and password and then here you can see like we are creating a one bean a spring like ws that will be initialized during the application startup so here you can see like this class will be executed like a spring like ws and it will refer that data source and it will refer that change log file so that like this file will be picked it up and it will run that one so during the application startup uh, it will run then just we are adding some flow like for application uh, uh, like we have to run that application like we, we need one source something so that we can run that application so we have added just a listener then select query for the dp and then we are doing some transform messages and then just you have to run the application or uh, during the application a startup uh, it will run so here you can see like uh, these are the liquid based things which is getting executed okay and same thing accounts database chain log these are the two things so i will do one thing uh, just i will import and i will run that application and then we are done with the demo and these are the things like uh, if you are using like database in your mule application it will be good to have either liquid base or uh, flyway i am closing this project okay so in this project i am using different database so here you can see like in the application properties if you see like for that one we have used uh, postgres and here you can see like i have used spring same username and password i have kept so that user uh, other user then they will import this project they can change their uh, username and password and these things okay and here also like just what we are doing like there will be like a listener and then we are just creating a uh, database configuration and selecting uh, all the records from the accounts here also like for database configuration we have created a bin called data source so we are using uh, data source reference we are not going with uh, generic connections so we are going with data source if you do that test connections i think it should pass 
yeah you can see that this connection is successful okay and if you see that this file so here you can see like just we are creating a account table okay and here you can see like create account table and if you see the another table called database spring so there is no okay in the spring we have let me uh, delete this thing mm -hmm. then i will try yes okay there is no table okay so what we will do uh, the extra thing is only like here you can see like this is the application properties and this is the extra thing like a spring config and we are here you can see like we are creating a data source and then we are initializing that spring liquid base and we are calling that this will run during the application startup so when we will deploy the application in dev uat or products and during the deployment type it should run so let me run this application and let's keep an eye on console so you will see that uh, some liquid waste packages that is running so then we will come to know like uh, so they are taking that file and they are going to export that file and even like from my like in every project of my career like if we, i'm using any database i'm always going with liquid waste so here you can see the liquid waste things started so here you can see like it is deployed so here you can see that liquid waste database set default schema name to public and successfully acquired the change log and here you can see like creating database history table so first they have created this table and reading from that table that is empty so they will run that script here you can see like running change set the first script that is created by siam so if you go to that here you can see uh, if we go to the view data so here you can see like one script got executed just now and here also you can verify like these are the column so during the application startup you have to follow so you can use uh, this spring dependency and you can do that so let me share this two link so, and if you are if you are struggling with uh, this integration you can reach out to me anytime yeah any questions hope session is useful yeah that, that was interesting sham got to cover a lot of things that we were not aware of <laughs> any questions from anybody like i am covering these topics like so that people can adopt these features in their 